The MT-10 is an easy to use misting controller that can be used for both mist propagation as well as cooling. We're going to program the basic functions of the mist time. This is the main screen that you'd see active all the time, showing the current time as well as uh, what the status of the controller is and what valves are active, if any. When a valve is active, this little zero will turn into a solid dot. Basic programming begins by setting the time and the date. Hit the menu button, scroll down to general, hit enter. Again, it'll tell you which valve is active, if any. Scroll to the time, hit enter, and now you can actually enter the time using the standard number pad. Same is true with date. Year can be done similarly. To go back to the main menu, or to the main screen, hit menu. To program valves, it's similarly easy. Hit menu, scroll to the first valve you want to deal with, valve one, hit enter. Mode is shown here. You have several choices for this. You have off, on, which means it will be on cycling all the time, 24 hours a day. Time, which means it will cycle between certain hours. Temperature, which means it will cycle above a set temperature. Or time and temperature, which means it will cycle between certain hours above a set temperature. To start out, we're going to start just with time. This is going to be the time that the misting cycle actually runs, so how long the nozzles would be on. Right now it's set for 10 seconds. To change this, you go in in, in, in minutes, and in seconds you can set that, that cycle time, or that, you know, that. then you hit enter, you can see the change has been made. Scroll to the right, and now you've got the start times for this controller for this valve. The start time, right now we have set at 8 a.m. Let's say at 9 a.m. And the stop time, we say we want it to stop at 5 p.m. This is going to be in military time. So now you can see the unit will, this valve will run between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. The max cycle is five minutes. We'll change this to 20 minutes. The min cycle is something we'll use at a later time. This is for temperature-based programming. Now valve one is ready to go. If we want to program other valves, we can do so just by scrolling to them and doing the same. Change the mode to on or time, change the active time scroll to the start time and stop time start time 0800 and the stop time 5 p.m. cycle. Right now this is set for one hour. We're going to set it for 30 minutes. And then again the minimum cycle time we'll use that at a later point in the video. It's important to note that when you're using the time based function that you need to actually cross that time threshold for it to activate for the day. For example, it's already 10.23 on our clock. I've set the start times for those two valves at 9 a.m. and 8 a.m. respectively. Neither of those valves will run today because this clock hasn't touched, crossed either of those thresholds. If you need it to run today, simply set it to on and then go back in the afternoon and reprogram it with your start times that you'd like to use for the, for the actual day. 
An advanced feature of the mist time is the ability to use multiple time buckets throughout a day, up to six. This allows us to build a misting curve. For example, we could have the controller run from midnight until 8 a.m. at a much wider interval, just to get some moisture on the plants, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. at a 30 minute interval to start moistening the plants a little bit more as the sun comes up and the temperature rises. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., we could have it running every five minutes because it's very high light intensity, um, the temperature has risen in the greenhouse, and we need more moisture. From 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., it would maybe start to cycle back, maybe back to 30 minutes. And from 5 p.m. to 11.59, we'd have it run again on an hourly or, or hour and a half basis just to have moisture on the leaves or on the plants during the night. You can build this time bucket set up. First, we're going to need to go into the installation program or the general overall settings for the controller. This is a hidden feature. It doesn't show in the general menu. If you scroll through, you'll notice it doesn't show you that feature. To get there, we go to the menu, but we press menu, we press the up button, and then we enter the code 2826, enter. This takes us into the installation program. From here, we say general installation. Here we can change the language. Mist time is available in multiple languages. The number of valves that you actually wish to use, uh, this is important, if you're only using five valves, you can change this to five and it won't look to the others as you're trying to go through a misting cycle, it'll save some time. If we're using the temperature sensor, which is an optional uh, a, a optional piece that, come, that you can use with the unit, we can change, select whether we want Fahrenheit or Celsius. We have the option of a pump pre-start. We'll describe, describe that later. Temperature control, this allows us to use temperature to influence uh, the, the cycles. And then the number of starts per valve. Here is where I'm, if I'm gonna make a curve, we're gonna put five in here. That'll now allow me to build a five bucket curve of different five different time buckets throughout the day. Once we've done that, we hit the menu option. Now it take us, takes us back to the main screen. From here, we can go back to our valve one and look at the programming. Okay, as you see, we still have it based on time as we had before, the active time or the, the cycle time is every five seconds, or is gonna be on for five seconds. That's how long the misting will run. Valve start one. Now, here's where we're gonna change this so that we can allow for multiple times during the day. Enter here, zero, 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 one. So that would be at 12.01 in the morning. And the stop time for site start for the start time one is going to be 8 a.m. Now we cycle to the and now during that period we only want this to run once every hour, oops, hour and 20 minutes. Select like press the right arrow key. And now we're at start time two for the same valve, number one. Okay, we ended the last one at 8 a.m., so we're going to go 8.01 as our start time for start time two. And the stop time is already set at 10 a.m. We're going to leave it there. The, the, we want the cycle for this time to be... 20 minutes. Now we press the right arrow again, and now we're at start time three for valve one. We ended the last one at 10 a.m., so 10.01. And let's say 2 p.m. or 1400, because this is military time. Now we're in the, the, the most light intensity during the day, the warmest part of the day. We are going to make that 
every five minutes. Start time four for valve one. We ended the last one at 1400. So we're gonna start at 1401. The stop time for start time one. Let's say we want that at 5 p.m. or 1700. We want this during this period to run for 20 minutes. And then for start time five, our last start time for this valve, we end the last at 1700, so we make this 1701. The stop time for this, we're gonna make at 11, 11.59, or, whoops, not 11.59. 23.59, enter, and we want this to run, again, one, every one hour and 20 minutes. Now we've programmed valve one to run on a bucket of, of on a curve so that it'll go in different buckets of time throughout the day. It's gonna start at midnight at an hour and 20 minutes, cycling five seconds on every hour and 20 minutes, at 8 a.m. it will run every 20 minutes for five seconds. At 10 a.m. it'll start running every five minutes for five seconds. At 5 p.m. it'll go back to every 20 minutes. And then at, or sorry, at, at 2 p.m. it'll go back to every 20 minutes. And at 5 p.m. it'll go back to once every hour and 20 minutes. That allows you to build a cycle so that you don't have to adjust your misting times throughout the day. There are several other advanced features of the mist time, and we're gonna access how to set those up in the installation program that we described before. Press the up arrow, two, eight, two, six, enter. We go into the installation program. As we mentioned, language, number of valves, Fahrenheit is temperature. So if we wanna go down to temperature, we would go in here and we would actually say we want, in the States, typically Fahrenheit to be on if you're in a if you're in Canada or you're in other metric countries, you'd leave that as off, and then Celsius would be the temperature uh, shown. Go down to temperature control. We tell it we want this to be on. Now we would need to actually install the temperature sensor with this. This is an optional piece. You can get this from DRAM. If you've installed this, it will now show a temperature setting on the main screen and you can use temperature as an influence to change the missing cycle. For instance, I can use select one valve instead of saying I want it to be on by time, I could have four valves on misting on a time-based cycle for propagation. I could have a fifth valve that actually runs only on temperature. So it could be a, a valve used for cooling that greenhouse. We could set up a mist cooling system in that greenhouse and say above 75 degrees, we want that to start misting. We can also influence the cycle times with the temperature sensor as well. So above a, set, a specific set temperature, we can easily control that by increasing and decreasing the amount of time between misting cycles um, as the temperature rises or falls. Another advanced feature of the mist time is the ability to offer a pump pre-start. Many misting systems require 50 to 60 psi to run properly and many well pumps operate at 40 to 60 psi. In this instance we can energize the relay on that pump in advance of any misting cycle on the mist time by turning on this feature. Inside the wiring, there's a pump output. That would be, that's a 24 volt output that would be run to your pump, um, your pump switch. And here we would tell it we want it to turn on, we, we, we want pump to be turned on. And then we would go to the pump run it, pre-running, and we would say any five seconds before any cycle, the, the pump output would be, ener would be energized, which would turn on the well pump, building the pressure so that we had adequate pressure when we're turning on a misting nozzle. 
This is important because let's say that the, the pressure switch is at the low end of its cycle and it's at 40 PSI. We turn on our misting system, which might not have very much outflow. It might be several seconds before that pump turns on, which means you're just gonna get a poorer mist or potentially the nozzle won't even work at all depending on how it's designed. With this function, it allows you to actually activate that in advance so that you have pressure when the nozzles come on. Finally, one nice feature of the unit, we can actually change the number, the valve names using four characters, but any four characters, you can change each valve name so that we could call a valve whatever you like. Scroll through the entire alphabet, lower and uppercase. So let's call this one MST M S T one. Now you can see valve name is uh, valve one is named Mist one. You could say Range one, Bench one, B E N. Any combination of four characters you can use to make it easier for you to recall which benches are which. Please contact us with any questions you might have about how to operate your mist time. We hope this has been an informative video.